Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and what we are going to do right now is we are going to introduce ourselves with the logical boolean values. We are also going to take a look at, at the sum of the comparison operators in Python. So what we did by now, we took a look at some of the different variables, how to store variables, how to name variables, how to convert variables from one type to another type, how to basically count the length of a certain string, paragraph or the list. And right now we are going to introduce ourselves, as I said, to the boolean true or false values. Now you might be asking why do we need true or false values? Well basically it is really important, especially in loops, as you will see later on. For now on we will only introduce ourselves with that and we will see how we can actually set the variables to be put to either true or either false, and so on and so on. Uh, we will also take a look at the comparison operators, which is not the same as the math operators. We saw uh, what the math operators in Python are, and right now we're going to introduce ourselves with the not equal, equal, uh, greater and lesser, and so on and so on, which is also really important in loops especially. So let us open up our idle. First of all, I will close this one from the previous video, then I will open a new one. 64 bit, okay, that is the one. And right now, first of all, let's see how we can actually check out whether something is true or whether something, or how we can set a variable to be equal to true or to be equal to false. Now, if you just type in your interpreter true, it will print out true. If you just type here false, it will print out false. Basically, these are the two values that are already pre-installed or pre, that come in Python, basically, not pre-installed. I don't know why I'm what I'm saying, and you can put these value variables, and you can put these values in an actual variable. So, for example, uh, let's call it a equals true. Uh, basically, right now, if you just type here a, you will see that a equals true. Now, it is really hard to explain like this, but it has a really good use, especially in the while true loops, which is an infinite loop. Uh, if you create a while true loop, it will basically perform a certain task for as long as that certain element is true, which can, in our case, be forever if we never change A to be equal to false. Now, of course, I will show those examples as well later on. For now on, we just want to see how this works. So, we set the A variable to be equal to true. Let's set the B variable to be equal to false. And if you just type right here a equals b, you can see that right now a is false as well, and b is also false. So let's set a back to true, so I just wanted to show you that you can actually uh, set the values from one true or false variable to another true or false variable, so that is something you can do as well. It will not give you any error, but what, uh, what this really has usage for is the equal with. Now, in order to perform the equal with sign, which is a comparison operator, it is it will basically compare these two numbers or these two values and see if they are the same. Now, we know that they are not the same because A is now true and the B is false. And in order to compare those, true, those two values, you just type the value or the variable 1, equals equals, so double equal, and then the variable 2. And you just press here enter and you can see we get printed out false. Now you might be asking why did we get printed out false, well basically take a look at this. You have one variable that is true, one variable that is false, and it basically performs is a equal to b, is true the same as false. The true is not the same as false, therefore that statement is basically false. That's why we get printed out right here false. If we get something like this, so a equals true, b equals true, and we perform the same comparison, so a equals a equals b, it will get printed out true, because true is true. Uh, you can do the same thing with numbers, of course, it doesn't have to be the boolean values, true or false, you can set a to be equal to, uh, to 3, or pardon me, to 4, and b to be equal to 3, and if you perform a equals a equals b, you will get printed out false, because 4 is not equal as 3. Maybe this is a little bit more explanatory example, maybe you will understand it a little bit better than with these true and false values. Uh, now let's see what it prints out once the actual values are correct. So b equals 4 as, pardon me, b equals 4, not 5. And then we compare them and that now this is true. As I said, 
This is mostly used in loops, so while true, while false, and so on and so on. We can set the variables to be either true or false. Then make sure that you remember that the equal sign is not the same as double equal sign. So that is really important because with single equal sign, we set a value to a certain variable and with double equal sign, we compare the value to a different variable. So this right here will set 3 to be stored in A and this right here will check whether A is equal to B. That is the difference between one equal and double equal. So now, right now, let us also take a look at some of the other uh, comparison operators in Python. The double equal is not the only one. So let us check out what, how we can actually che check if something is not equal to the actual uh, second variable. So what we will do is we will set A to be equal to true, B to be equal to false, and right now, let us check if A is not equal to B. So A, in order to do that, you just type exclamation mark and then equal and then B. And you can see right now we get true, unlike in here where we got false. So what this basically means is it will check if A is, uh, is different than B. Since A really is different than B, since A is, A is true and B is false, will get printed out true. Yes, A really is different than B. Let us try with numbers so you can understand it better. A equals 5, B equals 3, A is not equal, or check if A is not equal to B, and it will print out true. A isn't equal to B. If we set B to also be equal to 5, and we print out, uh, and we do the same thing, so A, and then exclamation mark equals B, we get now false. A is equal to B, therefore this statement is not correct. So this is also something useful that we will use later on. But these are not the only comparison signs, of course. We have the greater or lesser, and we can see right here, if we just type here A greater than B, we get printed out false. Now we get printed out false because A is not bigger than B, because both A and both B have the value of 5 stored in them. But if we set B to be equal to 4, and now perform the same task, we will get true. Therefore, 5 really is bigger than 4. This is basically the same. So this statement right here and this statement right here are exactly the same. Just these two have values in those variables. Uh, we can also do the same thing with the uh, lesser sign. So 5 is smaller than 4, which is of course false. We know that. And there is also two more that we need to uh, cover which is the greater or equal and lesser or equal so we have these uh, we have the equal sign we have the double equal sign we have the exclamation mark equal we have the greater lesser and we also have the greater or lesser no pardon me greater equal or lesser equal so let's say both a to be equal to 5 and b to be equal to 5 and right now, if we just check something like this, so A is greater or equal to 5, this should be true, oh, pardon me, not to 5, to B, so greater or equal to B, we get printed out true. Also, if you try to reverse it, so A is smaller or equal to B, this is also true, because both of those values are 5, therefore, in both of these cases, they will work. Now, this is also something that you can use in the loops as well. So, for example, while A is smaller or equal than 5, do this task. And then in that task, what you do is you basically increase A after every iteration. Of course, we are going to take a look at those examples as, as well. Maybe right now, this is looking a little bit mm, confusing to you, but it really shouldn't be. This is just basic math right here. Uh, what is important is how you actually use this stuff right here. So that would be basically about it for this tutorial. Uh, we will continue coding in the next tutorial. So hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I see you in the next lecture. Bye.